hello everyone in the last video we have discussed one practice problem in this video also we'll solve one more practice question on the soil water relationships okay so now read the question carefully a moist soil sample weighs 3.5 to newtons moist soil sample means this is already having water in it so he has given total weight total weight is equal to 3.5 to newtons so after drying in an oven its weight is reduced to 2.9 newtons so drying in an oven means water content means will be evaporated so weight of solids is equal to 2.9 newtons if you keep it in the oven then water content will become zero so we will be getting weight of solids that is equal to 2.9 newtons he has given and also the specific gravity of solids so gs value also he has given gs is equal to 2.65 2.65 he has given and also mass specific gravity is also given mass specific gravity is nothing but gm is equal to gamma by gamma w unit weight by unit weight of water so that weight also he has given that parameter also he has given mass specific gravity that will be equal to 1.85 now what he asked us to find out he asked us to find out water content is equal to what void ratio is equal to what porosity n is equal to what degree of saturation s is equal to what and he also asked us to take gamma w is equal to 10 kilo newton per meter cube 10 kilo newton per meter cube so now we will solve one by one yeah total weight he has given and weight of solids also he has given from this water weight of water can be calculated so weight of water is equal to total weight of the soil minus weight of solids so this will be equal to total weight is how much 3.52 weight of solids is 2.9 3.52 2.9 3.52 minus 2.9 so that is equal to 3.52 minus 2.9 so 0 0.62 0 0.62 newtons so we have calculated weight of water so water content can be calculated now weight of water to the weight of solids weight of water is how much 0.62 newton divided by weight of solids is how much 2.9 i think 2.9 okay 2.9 so 0 0.62 divided by 2.9 this will be coming around 0 0.2137 that means 21.37 percent 21.37 percent yeah and next e value also we have to find out e value also we have to find out yeah before calculating the e value one more actually parameter he has given so g is equal to g and mass specific gravity also he has given so mass specific gravity is equal to m is equal to gamma by gamma w gamma by gamma w so this gamma is equal to mass specific gravity is how much 1.85 1.85 
into weight of unit weight of water how much we can take 10 kilo newton per meter cube from this gamma is equal to 1.85 into 10 so 18.5 kilo newton per meter cube 18.5 kilo newton per meter cube so for calculating e value at least we should need gamma d so because we don't know the total volume so that is why our intention is to find out gamma d first so here gamma value can be calculated gamma value can be calculated so now gamma d is equal to gamma d is equal to gamma by 1 plus w gamma by 1 plus w so this gamma value is equal to this gamma value is equal to so gamma value how much we have calculated 18.5 kilo newton per meter cube divided by 1 plus water content is equal to how much 0 0.2137 0 0.2137 1 plus 0 0.2137 18.5 divided by answer so gamma d is around 15.24 kilo newton per meter cube 15.24 kilo newton per meter cube so we know the value of gamma d now e can be calculated now e can be calculated since e is equal to g gamma w by gamma d minus 1 so e value how much we has given 2.65 2.65 and gamma w is equal to 10 kilo newton per meter cube divided by gamma d value 15.24 0.24 minus 1 minus 1 so 2.65 into 10 divided by 15.24 minus 1 0.738 means 0.74 we can consider 0.74 we can consider 0.74 we can consider okay yeah 0.74 we can consider so e value is also found out if you know the e value then n value also we can find n is equal to e by 1 plus e so e is equal to 0 0.74 divided by 1 plus 0 0.74 0 0.74 divided by 1.74 0 0.4 252 that means 42.52 percent 42.52 percent yeah next what has been asked yeah next s value he has asked so we know that es is equal to gsw so based on that s is equal to gs into water content divided by e so gs is equal to 2.65 into water content how much water content how much we have value 0 0.2137 0 0.2137 divided by void ratio 0.74 void ratio 0.74 so from this 2.65 into 0 0.2137 divided by 0 0.74 so 0 0.7652 0 0.7652 that means 76.52 percentage 76.52 percentage okay so we have calculated water content and void ratio and porosity and degree of saturation 
so water content is equal to 0.2137 i'm just checking yeah and gamma d value is equal to 15.24 and gamma 18.5 and n value 0 0.4253 okay s value 76.6 okay these are correct yeah so this is about the third problem uh, and in the next video i think this is the fourth problem in the next video we'll solve one more practice question so thanks for watching my video if you find the content is useful please like my video and subscribe to my channel as well thank you